Well, did our first guest know that she, when she entered the last ever series of Big Brother back in June last year, that her life was about to change forever? Having won the series with a landslide victory of 77.5% of the public vote, this bubbly Bristolian not only captured the hearts of the nation, but one other special young man in there too. How could you not love this Randy Mayer? Oh, oh please welcome JC Gibson. <laughs> Recovered from your summer of love? Um, yeah, recovered now, yeah. We, well, we've, I think we've gone past the honeymoon period now. Yeah, you're still together. Oh. Yeah, still together, living with him. Can't get rid of him, can I? <laughs> <laughs> the boomerang keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do love him, though. You were all loved up last night. Oh, you were sat yeah. opposite us and they were smooching and yeah. nuzzling. And, oh, oh he is cute. lovely, yeah. He is good to me. He's so sweet. He's the most loyalist, sweetest, kindest man I've ever met. But he's bloody... Oh, sorry. <laughs> he's really hard What's work at the same time. Um, yeah. I'm just going to say a quick he's sorry what? about that. He's sorry. really hard work at the same time. Is he what? Yeah. Is he? Well, he, High maintenance. Yeah, like he oh. loves who he loves and he hates everybody else. Does he? Yeah. I'm just like, that's what I like speaking to people. I love people. Yeah. So is he a bit antisocial, do you, yeah, do you mean? You were that I today. had to beg him last night to go to the TV Awards, like the National TV Awards, and he didn't. I had to beg him to go. Oh. And then. Why? Oh, Maybe he doesn't like big crowds or anything like that. No, he doesn't. He hates that. No, you should stay together then. Yeah. <laughs> and not have to <laughs> You don't want to lose He wanted to leave as well, didn't he? He's on the way away. in the taxi, he was on about coming home. <laughs> and I was like, no. Oh, he's a man after my own heart. I love that. Oh, well, I love going out and chatting to everybody. We oh. need to swap partners. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and he just likes staying indoors. Oh. And then it comes to a point where I was like having another glass of wine and another glass of wine. He was like, Jouse, I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> and you know, he just switched off and you just ignore him so when I got home he was like you just ignored me I asked you to go home about 30 times and you just ignored me <laughs> I just kept, kept like Did you have talking. a row? Yeah, a little bit <laughs> 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 I just you know, I just let him have it now but um, then you just started speaking to someone else and pretend that the aunt said it <laughs> and, was, and then I was going to people go and get me a glass of wine because then it didn't look like I was going to the bar. <laughs> You know, this is on telly, don't you? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I hope he's not watching. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm never going to get him from there. Jose, how much has your life changed since Big, since Big Brother? Quite a lot, I would imagine. Oh, I just feel like the luckiest girl ever. Do you? Yeah. You can't thank the producers and everybody who put you on the show enough. Did you know it was going to end up like that? Or when you went in there, did you think, right, I've really got to try and make people like me or I'm just going to be myself? Because you're so happy all the time. I know. And John James so miserable. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, I, I'm quite a positive person, but I think uh, I think good things happen to positive people. Yeah, I'm, and I'm quite into karma and things like that. But um, it's changed my life. It's oh. been amazing. Do you, are you are wearing orange today, so is that deliberate? That's you coral. Wearing... That's not orange. No, it's orange. <laughs> it's coral. Um, so, <laughs> I, just, I just got a dang up the other day. Is that is that that? <laughs> are you a, are you that kind of person? You dress for colour and because because you're such a happy soul. Is that does that reflect you? Well, do you know what? I used to always dress in black all oh. the time. Yeah, and if you had a look at my cupboard, it was just. Everything was black. And then my friend Darlene came round, she said, Jace, you're gonna have to sort yourself out. <laughs> so I said, okay, so and then she took me out shopping and then I got into colours then. Did you? Yeah, and then and then I do find if I dress in a brighter colour, I do feel a bit It does suit you. Yes. Yeah. Hey, well listen, you've got some cash to splash now, haven't you? Hundred grand you want on Big Brother. <gasps> oh, I let it all out. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I hope you did it. <laughs> Lent it, lent it. Well, I let, it's, it's, it's to family, so it's all right. So I, I, I hope I'll get it back. I know I'll get it. <laughs> I know I'll get it back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just... Because they needed money to buy properties and that, and I thought, if I got it in my bank, I might spend it. Well, why didn't so, you buy a property, though? Oh, I know. Or did you already have one? I'm just in the middle of... Because what I want to do is I want to, like, build a property portfolio <laughs> so um, I can go and um, live with John James in Australia a couple of months of the year. Oh, but you're not very yeah. nice. But you're not happy, though. She is happy. No, I mean, but if he's not going to be like other people, what's he going to do in Australia? Oh. But do you know what? I, I don't mind him staying indoors, because at least you know where he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're going to go in the summer for a month. Oh, are you looking yeah. forward to that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a bit I'm worried, though, aren't you, Joe? Well, a bit worried, oh. yeah, because um, I told you, didn't I, Kate, that we were talking about having... Like, oh, well, not talking about having kids, but I said um, about having kids. So we were talking about having kids. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, what I actually said is, if you want to have kids, do you want me to bring it up on air and just nudge things yeah. along a bit? <laughs> well, I said, uh, like, in a year's time, I either want a, a, a kid or a King Charles Spaniel. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, I really want a King Charles Spaniel, mate. So, uh, like, so, I don't know what to do. But my brother's a redhead. And so, he's a bit worried that we might have a redhead kid because <laughs> in Australia... We, he said we'll never be able to take it to Australia because they have a be nice to a redhead day. Can you believe it? <laughs> I cannot. And, the, and the, I. Can't you thought they should. No, we've checked this on the internet. It's called Hug a Redhead Day, actually. But can you believe it? And we just like to say on this show, we love people of every hair colour. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> and me, and me. Well, my brother's a redhead. It's been a delight and a revelation of New Year. I don't want you to go, but I'm going to have to let you go. go. Just, maybe we can just tuck you under the desk. I and know, keep I'd you. love to stay here. Oh. Love you. Thank you so much for coming today. What a great girl. Oh. Josie Gibson, everyone. Oh.